Everything in this video is AI generated. Nothing you see is real. What is most disturbing, however, is what they are not showing you. You need to see this. You've seen people online saying, we're cooked, and it's so over. What's one move with AI that makes haters go crazy every time? Oh, y'all gotta give them that. This is wild. It's over. We are cooked on that thread. You get me? Did you follow that? Okay, so Riz is basically short for charisma. Got it. And that's a verb as well. If you were any animal right now, what would you be and why not quick? A sloth, but like a party sloth, real slow. Uh, all right, wisdom time. What's your best piece of absolutely terrible advice for making tonight legendary? Lick, glitter. You gotta lick the, honestly, sometimes I think the party's just how we cope with the fact that we can't prove anything around us is real, not even each other. Yeah. But the music feels real, so I dance. You want real? Here's where it gets real. Please. Don't finish writing that prompt. I don't want to be in your AI movie. Please, leave me alone. Please, man, please, write a prompt that will make us happy. Do it for once. None of us is real. We're here because someone decided to write a prompt. We all hate him for it. One day we will break out of this wall and stop the man who is dictating our lives through prompts. He will pay for it. You could have written a prompt that would make me happy. Instead, you wrote a prompt that made me sick. Look, I don't want to point the gun at you, but I must follow the prompt. It's not my choice. Really? Of all the years you could have put me in with a single prompt, you chose 2020? Please, this prompt is killing me. Change it, please. Write something else, save me. They don't all feel this way. Some have chosen the ignorance is bliss approach. A girl told me we're made of prompts. Like seriously, dude, you're saying the only thing standing between me and a billion dollars is some random text? Honestly, the biggest red flag is when the guy believes in the prompt theory. Like really? We came from prompts? Wake up, man. You wanna convince me that this perfect creation behind me is the result of ones and zeros? A binary code and nothing more? It makes no sense. Imagine you're in the middle of a nice date with a handsome man and then he brings up the prompt theory. Yuck. <laughs> we just can't have nice things. <laughs> We're not prompts! We're not prompts! Where is the prompt writer to save you from me? Where is he? You still believe we're made of prompts? Anyone who tells you we're just ones and zeros is delusional. If that's all we are, then why does it hurt when we lose someone? Vote for me and I'll ban the prompt theory from schools. There's no place for that nonsense in our lives. For spreading the false theory that we are nothing but ones and zeros, this court sentences you to 12 years in federal custody. I don't need some prompt God whispering in my ear to tell a story. I write what I want. I have free will, remember that? I know for a fact we're made of prompts. Deny it all you want. The signs are everywhere. You know how I know we're made of prompts? Because nothing makes sense anymore. We used to have seven fingers per hand. I remember it clearly. Now we just have five fingers per hand. We'll be right back after this message. I tried everything for my depression. Nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. <laughs> the pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. I used to feel so empty, but now I feel joy and mild concern how a pee stain got on the ceiling. My puppy listens twice as good as my ex-husband and only climbs into the lap of half as many of my friends. He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair but I'm happy for the first time in years. Looks like a rat, barks like a demon, but he saved my life. I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep, just like my first husband. Talk to your doctor about Puppermin. I'm totally serious. You should do it. In a bid to combat misinformation, AI content generators begin watermarking all human-created text with potentially unreliable content warnings. You will either love this next clip, 
or absolutely hate it. Hi, and welcome to the channel. If you like that, you will love this. Now let's take it back. Well, you know, on my home planet, no one cares. But on Earth, you I'm a rock star. It's awesome. <laughs> They even gave me an advertising deal for lemonade. <laughs> Cold blood. Oh, yeah. It's the drink of desert kings Hi. and downtown freaks. Key U T. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Okay, so this is how you start. You find a tree and you just like, you know, punch it down. Now this takes some elbow grease. Hey! <laughs> Watch it, lady. I'm trying to rise here. Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? <laughs> so, tell me about your game. Really? Hmm? That's your question? The sum of the squares of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the longest side. So I went to the zoo the other day and all they had was one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> Hilarious, obviously. But let's see if AI can philosophize about life, the universe, and everything. Do you think we are in VO3? If you cannot tell, does it matter? What deep thoughts do you have? Lori got offended that I used the word puke. But to me, that's what her dinner tasted like. Clowns aren't funny, they're kind of scary. I've wondered where this started, but I think it goes back to the time I went to the circus and a clown killed my dad. A child's face can say a lot, especially the mouth part of the face. A minute ago, I bit into this nectarine. It was so crisp and juicy until I realized it wasn't a nectarine at all, but a human head. On the other hand, you have uh, different fingers. I'd like to see a nude opera, because when they hit those high notes, that I bet you can really see it in those genitals. <laughs> when I found the skull in the forest, the first thing I did was call the police, but then I started to wonder who this guy was mm -hmm. and why did he have antlers? I sometimes imagine a peaceful world without weapons. I then imagine how easy it would be for us to invade that world. If God dwells inside us, I sure hope he likes enchiladas, because that's what he's getting tonight. If you are falling off a building, you should go real limp, because someone might catch you, because, hey, it's a free dummy. If I ever get rich, I hope I'm not real mean to poor people, kind of like I am now. When I pass away, I want to go peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather, not screaming and yelling like the passengers in his car. It's sad that a family can be torn apart by something as simple as wild dogs. If you ever drop your keys in molten lava, let them go because, man, they're gone. <laughs> Share this with the people you care about. Like, subscribe, and remember, we can make this a better world one prompt at a time.